time in a while It feels weird being alone when I had a future with you figured out I pulled up at the spot where we had our first date I pulled up at the spot where we had our first kiss How am I supposed to believe in love and forever no longer exists? I say I'm over things, but I overthink about what could have been I say I'm over you, but I know you're in my dreams every single night I don't know how to live Hi guys, so it's Tuesday, the 1st of November. I am at Wama Hotel. I'm here with... <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, so just deep. Look at breakfast date. God, who is who is God? We start November on a good note. So we are having a bowl of fruits. This is turmeric dawa, dawa with mint, and a bowl of fruit. So yeah, and we are gonna have an exciting day. Say hi to my peeps. Hi. By the way, you are waiting for me to come into your life. <laughs> yeah. So what you need is to cool it. I'll see you guys later. Because one thing, when I meet with Sheila, we can't just do one thing. It's a wild day. It's a wild day. It just ends and we're like, what? As should be. As yeah. should be. Yeah. So yeah, let us have our breakfast. Because you're gone. Because you're gone. Gone. It feels weird being alone for the first time. Thing we used to be The memories of us still haunt me They haunt me And I want them gone
is a salad bar. Yeah. Oh, chow. Yo guys, this is nice. Make pasta. This looks vegetarian. Penne pasta. Yeah, the penne tan. Check it with your mind boiled. Check it with mind boiled. I'm ready. You're ready. I'm excited. Sheila. You refused? Hey. Sheila, don't see. Do you enjoy it? What's your name? I do. I Guys, there's a reading nook, man. A perfect husband. Oh, I need to read that. Hint, hint. Oh, I know. Check it with your aesthetics, man. And then the reading nook is there. So you get your book, you order a drink, you sit there, you read. Yo! Yeah, guys. Oh guys, this place is breathtaking. Look at this art. I imagine it's just paper. I know. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the the other room. This is the other room. Check. Yo. Uh -uh. These guys have invested. Yeah. Now, in my head, I'm picturing you put up like a mini version of this in your kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Not in the kitchen, in, in, or in, in, in the cellar. Because they, they, they even better. I've waited for the food so much. I am so hungry. So let me just create content. This place is so beautiful. Look at this flower wall. Guys, this is the other room. Nairobi Social House. Jesus Christ me. This is nice. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. And I've not even gotten the food. But I already know it's going to be bomb. There are florals. Look at that wall. Yo, uh -uh, guys, you all need to come here. And there are different rooms. There's the sitting room, the upper room. The other one is called what? I'll check and tell you guys. Oh my goodness. Then it's raining. Look at this. Look at this. Guys. In love. So yeah, let me go and wait for my...
this Tuesday, currently at uh, the social house, we we were in in the what? The social house. What in the room? I don't know the restaurant. I have said it before, but uh, I'll review it later. Or I just do that now. The food is amazing. Ambience is amazing. Everything a one. I am so full. So yeah, I'm having a great time with my friends who came for lunch, which is it's amazing. So yeah, that's just the update. <laughs> just you know what like 30 minutes ago i just got home from lunch with uh, my friend sheila oh and her happy that was that was amazing and i don't know i just feel like i'm thinking about a lot so i'll we'll talk about that another day but yeah i just got home i have just changed my clothes definitely left the pull neck on i wore this th during the day Guys, it's raining, cats and dogs. It, it's just stopped, so it's quite cold. And yeah, as you can see, I got my hair out. Guys, it's been so long since I sat in this exact place and filmed almost a month and a week because um, I was in Kisumu two weeks ago. And that's content you're watching now, like almost... A month next week is going to be a whole month so yeah a lot has been happening but mostly rest i think i'm most grateful for vlogtober because it pushed my limits i'm uh i'm hitting my milestones whatever i needed vlogtober to do it has done which is amazing and if you're not subscribed to this point just you know just do the obvious just do the obvious you will love it here we are a warm community so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So I really enjoyed Vlogtober. That was spectacular. And for this last week, in fact, today as I'm sitting here, this is the 1st of November. So that you can know it's been a while. It's been like a, a crazy while. But yeah, Vlogtober was amazing. I had the time to just create wholesome content my day to day and share it with you guys. And I think each one of you that has watched any of my vlogtober content, each one of you that has left any comments, each one of you that has subscribed during that period, I am honestly, honestly so honored that you would pick me and you would support me because I feel like it's a choice and I am glad that I am your choice on the YouTube space. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, second thing is I loved going to Kisumu. I think you guys have seen all the content by the time. This is the video after the last Kisumu vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really, really loved being in Kisumu. Went there with my lovely friend Do and we had the best time I've had in a while. So, and I feel like whatever I have carried from my trip to Kisumu and coming back and hanging out with my friends and especially women close to my heart is I am so grateful that God has given me safe spaces where I can just be. You feel me? Like where I don't need to pretend, where I don't need to act a certain way to be accepted, where I can just show up as my most authentic self and I will be met with love and hugs and concern and support and i really really love that so kisumo was super significant for me just watching my friends take amazing life milestones talking sharing just being and i love it and if you know me you know you know brav you know i love everything uh empowerment i love everything growth i love everything weddings and celebrations of marriage i love all that and it's the weirdest thing so this first sunday <laughs> i'm going to make your laugh let me oil guys you see where my skin is flourishing char let me show you now because it's almost in like a week it's char quick it will be a different story so 
the craziest thing happened this Sunday. So uh, there's a pastor in our church. He's called Pastor C, the resident pastor at our church, Destiny Life Church, Siokimau. If you've been there, just in the comments section, who is my my Destiny gang, my DLC gang, just in the comments, in the comments, please make some noise. Make some noise for the most amazing church around. I love it so much. I love it there. So uh, it was the end of the service. This first Sunday, hey, I, um, it was the end of the service. He was doing the benediction. And then, ha! Ah, I don't know what he said to do something. He just mixed mixed up his words. Mixed up his words. And you know, guys, me, me, I'm just me. Like, bro, if you I'm going to say bruv a lot, I think it's 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 this TikTok things, it's just in my head. So he mixed up his words and then he tried to move on to the next thing you were saying. Then he repeated and then when he said the right thing, I just added Simu. He said Simu instead of something as I can't quite remember. So I was like, Simu. And then he like turns and he's like, Um, Shana, Ebu, Kilam, too. Egemeza, we call no one. We can say my boy is too, but we can't say my boy. And guys actually did say it. So in my head, I was like, why? Like, why is this? Why is this? So I don't know. Like, personally, like, I'm just trying to give you an example where I just love my church. Because I don't need to be, there's no church Becky and home Becky. It's just Becky all through. So yeah, like, I just feel like this, that whole time that I have not been filming since I left Kisumu, this is my second week, hey? This is my second week. And it's just been a place of just sitting and just being. You know, I just felt the need to just sit and be, considering the amount of work I had done, like, uh, August, September, like, September and October, se uh, late September and early October to film all that content, because I already knew this trip to Kisumu was coming up. So, these two weeks, I have just taken to calm down, to breathe, to slow down, and just recenter myself. Because I find that a lot of times we get carried away. You will get carried away by everything happening. This happened, you are there. That one needed you, you went, da 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 da. And you find you're depleted. So by the time I was coming back from Kisumu, I just wanted to just sit and just be because it was a lot. So, and I'm glad I took that time. I'm honestly glad I took that time since I came back. This is like the first day where I've actively woken up, dressed, went out somewhere. So we shot in the morning with Sheila. I think you've seen that BTS. Then we went to the social house for lunch and now I'm home. And I feel whole. Like, I feel whole. I feel like something else that has really stood out for me in this season is God keeps showing me. God keeps answering this prayer that I had at the beginning of the year. That you know what, Jesus, I want you to bring me women that are going to be like my destiny help us, my support system, women that are going to nudge me to the right direction because I honestly do not want my life to be the cliche life of women are not supportive of each other. You can't just have great girlfriends who are not behind your back doing something against you. I want my life to be different, to just defer that tangent and that has been a desire I've had this year and that is one of the things even as we walk into the last two months of the year that I'm like you know what thank you Jesus this is a prayer for me that I have honestly seen you do and coming home we were talking about purpose and how you find your voice and how you flourish in the spaces where God has allowed you to be and I just love God moments because for me that is something that is happening to me in this season i'm just like lord where do you want me to be who do you want me to be they are calling me this but what do you call me in this space what am i supposed to answer to because there's a space where you will go into and i am and you're supposed to answer to sister but then if you're there as a disciplinarian you miss you miss what God intended for you to do in that space. So that's just the conversation you're having when you're coming home. One of these fine days I'm having on the channel and you all are going to ask the questions and you're going to talk deeper about such matters. But this is just to tell you that like 
God is faithful, like God answers prayers. I know this is so cliche, you hear it from so many people, but coming from a person who the last one, two years have not been the easiest for me health-wise, family, and at, at some point I just sit and I'm like, why is it getting worse? But then it's, it's moments I don't want to get emotional. Yeah, it's it's moments like this that remind me that you know what, God is actually so good. God is actually so intentional. God, God is actually in the business of meeting you at the point of your need. God is actually, He's actually looking out for you. He's a good God. And I found myself in so many ways this year just asking God, Are you good? I can't see your goodness. I have breath. I have life. But I want you to be good like this. Like this is this is what I use to measure your goodness, which is also a messed up way of thinking about it. But uh, this past this past week I was leading service and for like since I traveled, like I've been listening to this song by Gentle and it's called Vina Kamilik. I think if you guys have not heard it, I'll link it below. And it just says, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you, you just make things happen. All I know is when you say your word, when you say a word, things change. And when you say it, it happens. And that's a song I have, that has, has just, it has held me down. Let me just say that. That song has held me down in the worst of situations, in the worst of anxiety. Where I'm just like, you know what, God, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. All I know is when you say, Becky, you're healed, I am healed. When you say, Joyce, you're restored, you're restored. When you say, Peter, healing has come to your home today. It has come. And that's something that is just so, so amazing about God. And so even as... As I close off this whole catch up is we have we have gotten into the second last month of the year and one thing I know about God is that He's the author and the finisher. He says that the good work I have begun in you and bring it to completion. And God created times and seasons. And he knows that we identify December as the end of the year. He knows that. And he knows that my daughter wrote these things that she wanted to accomplish by the end of the year. And this is what I wanted to do for her. And he's mindful of time because God is never late. At times we want to constrict God to God. It's November. This has not happened. This has not happened. This has... I think if there's something I have seen that has just allowed me to relieve, to relinquish control totally to God is how he comes through even when I didn't think I needed him to come through. You get like things happen and I'm like, oh my goodness, I would not, I'm so foolish, I would not have known how to ask for that, but you still gave it to me. So even as we come into November and December, I pray that God will give you that knowing, that God will give you that peace, peace in your heart to just know that, that, that peace that n nobody can take away of just knowing that, you know what, he's so mindful of you. He's, he has such great plans for your life. He has such amazing plans for your life. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what the Lord has in store for those who trust in him. So keep trusting, keep believing. And even as you pray, even as you ask God, November is here, December is almost here. I asked, I asked, I asked. Remember gratitude. Remember to be grateful. I've had to catch myself so much just being like, God, why me? But then I remember, you're still alive. You're still alive. You still have breath. That he woke you up this morning. He's not done. So that is my parting shot for you today. And I hope, even if not for everyone that watches this video, just one person that has heard this, that they will be encouraged enough to keep hanging in there. Because I know the pressure the pressure is definitely getting worse uh, as we get towards December. 
the pressure to what have you achieved if you've not achieved this, this and this and this and this and this. Tick off your checklist, tick off your goals for the year. Go back to your goals, tick what you did. Da, 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 da. I know all that is going to be shouting in our ears and on social media. The quotes are about to come. Nene, nene. If you didn't achieve it, there's always a next year. But I pray that you're not carried by that wind and miss your season. I pray that you will stay cognizant, you will stay focused on what God is doing because God is definitely doing amazing things. So yeah, thank you so, so much guys for joining me on today's adventure. Today was just a ministry day for me where I had I had the chance of being there for my friend and listening to a, an amazing conversation that was happening. Once it comes out, I'll definitely share the link on my channel. I'll update you guys. So yeah, it's it's been wholesome. Today has been wholesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.